Hi, this is a quick tip on how to save your own meta rigs for Rigify. This is not a basic tutorial for Rigify, so if you don't understand how Rigify works, this won't make any sense. I have a very detailed series of videos about Rigify, which will teach you those basics, so please watch that first if you need to. Alright, so once you have a Rigify activated, again I show that in my basics videos, but once you have it activated, you can press Shift A, go to Armature, and you're going to have these meta rigs. The human one, the, the animals, and the basic ones. And actually, you can very easily add your own meta rigs to this list. So let's start from a basic human. Go to Edit Mode. And let's say I wanted to have four arms instead of two. So I'm going to select all of these bones. Shift D, duplicate them, and move them down a little bit. And then I want to parent these uh, bones here to the middle. Spine bone with keep offset. I'm going to make sure that the rig type is still set to super limb. Okay, I'll go to edit mode now. And let's say I also want a tail. So I'm going to extrude a bone from here and uh, move it on the Y axis. I have to make sure that it's disconnected. So I'm going to press Alt P, disconnect and then right click and subdivide it a couple of times. Okay. Go to pose mode and then I'm going to set its rig type to tail. Basic tail. Again, if these things don't make sense, watch my basic series and it will make sense. So let's say this is the kind of rig that we want. Um, let's actually quickly try to generate it to make sure that it works. And yeah, if I hide my meta rig, you can see that that Rigify generated a new rig with four arms and a tail. Great, I'm going to undo now. I don't need the generated rig. And um, now I'm in pose mode. If, if I go to this Rigify tab under the end panel, you'll see that uh, we have some options which are actually very useful, but, but I'm going to cover them in a different video. If I switch to object mode, uh, there is nothing, actually the Rigify the Rigify tab disappears, but in edit mode, Rigify tab, I have these two options, encode meta rig to Python and encode sample to Python. And this switching of uh, menus depending on the mode is something that I really don't like. It's not just a problem with Rigify, but Blender in general. But anyway, so first I'm going to cover the encode meta rig to Python button. I'm just going to press it and then I'm going to switch this 3D view to a text editor. And now if I click this drop down, I'm going to get one text file which which is called metarig.py. If I click it and scroll up, uh, you'll see lots and lots of uh, code. And this code basically generates uh, this metarig that I have with, with the four arms and the tail. So now I need to save it. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The problem is where do we save this? Blender kind of has two uh, main places where it keeps the add-ons. At least uh, that's how it is in Windows. I'm not sure about Mac and Linux. So one place where uh, Blender keeps the add-ons on Windows is in the app data folder. In most cases, that would be C drive user, uh, then your username, app data, which uh, may be hidden, then roaming, Blender foundation, Blender, and then your Blender version. In this case, I'm using Blender 2.9. And then there is in there, there is a scripts folder and then add-ons folder. And Rigify is not there. You need to look in your actual Blender folder. I always install Blender from zip files and I place Blender in a special folder that I have for it. So here's my Blender 2.90. If you install Blender from the exe file, then you should go to your C drive program files. And here you'll find the Blender Foundation folder. And in it, in this case, I have installed Blender 2.91. And then you'll look under, again, 2.91, scripts, add-ons, and look for Rigify. And you'll see a folder called Metrix. So now I'm going to go back to the folder of Blender that I'm actually using. Over here, that is uh, Blender 2.90, and then scripts, add-ons, find Rigify, meta rigs, 
Okay, I'm going to copy this whole path. And then in Blender, go to text, save as, paste this path over here. And now I can name my metric something like man tail four arms or something like that. And press save as. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to again press save as. And then create a new folder. And I'm going to call it my meta rigs. Enter it. And here I'm going to save this file again inside this new folder. Okay, now I'm going to go to the 3D view, object mode, shift A, and nothing has changed. But that's okay. I'm going to close Blender and start it again. And now if I press shift A, armature, I'll have my man tail for arms uh, rig. If I click it, there it is exactly as I created it a minute ago. And also if I press shift A again, You'll notice that I have a new folder exactly as I named it, my metarigs. And inside I have this same metarig. If I create it again, I'll have another copy. And, you know, I can go to pose mode. I can verify that my rig types are there. I can go and generate it if I wanted to. And that's it. It just works. Okay, I'm going to delete these metarigs. Now I'm going to also cover the other button that we saw, which was uh, something like encode a sample. Let's create a new single bone. Go to edit mode. And here it is, encode sample to Python. Now samples are these things that we get under uh, rigify buttons when we are in edit mode. Again, this is something that you can learn in my basics tutorial. So I'm going to delete this uh, default bone and I'm going to look for a simple tentacle and click add sample and as you can see that added a chain of three bones in pose mode i can verify that that is indeed a tentacle so let's uh, make some changes here let's uh, activate all of these xyz options uh, what they do is another topic again i covered that in my other tutorials um, i'm going to move this tweak layer to to this layer and um, then i'm going to go to edit mode and actually extrude some more bones like that and I'm going to press uh, encode sample to Python. Now you have to make sure that the only thing that is available in this armature is this thing that you want to encode to Python as a sample because any other bones that you have inside this armature will be included in this sample. Okay after clicking the button I can go to a text editor and I'll have this metarig sample.py. Scroll up and here is all the data that uh, I'm going to need. I'm going to go to text, save as. And again, I'm going to go to my rigify folder as I just showed you a minute ago. And now instead of metarigs, I want to go to rigs. And here you'll see a bunch of folders. Uh, I think the tentacle is considered a limp. So I'm going to go to this folder. And here it is, a simple tentacle. So I'm going to call my so I'm going to call this new sample my tentacle.py and save it. All right, again, I have to close Blender. Okay, I'm going to start a new Blender file, create a new single bone, go to edit mode, armature tab, and I'm going to look for my tentacle. And it's not there. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to switch to the text editor, click open and navigate to my limbs folder where I saved it. And here it is, my tentacle. I'm going to open it and I'm going to also open in the same folder the super tent tentacle. And let's divide this window into two and this one will be my tentacle and here I have the super tentacle. And as you can see, the super tentacle has a lot more data in here, which I don't really understand. But if I copy this data, down to here to the DEF create sample and I'm going to press control C and then I'm going to move to my tentacle select everything down to DEF create sample and press control V in here and then I'm going to just save this file close blender start it again create a single bone 
edit mode, armature tab, and look for tentacle. And here we go. I'm going to de delete this uh, default bone. And here I'm going to add the simple tentacle, um, which is the standard uh, sample that we have. And move it to the side. And then I'm going to select my tentacle and edit as well. And as you can see, it's just as we created it. If I go to pose mode and check its uh, rig type options, you'll see that they are also as we exactly as we set them up before. Unlike the standard tentacle, which has these default options. And so that's it. I think creating and saving a new uh, meta rig is quite simple. Probably the most difficult thing is finding this folder uh, where the meta rigs are saved. Again, this folder is inside your actual Blender installation. Inside, you'll find a folder which is basically uh, the number of your Blender installation. When you open it, uh, you'll then go to Scripts, Add-ons, Rigify, MetaRigs, and here you can uh, save your MetaRig or create a new folder and save it in the new folder. And new samples are saved in the Rigs folder. But keep in mind that simply saving this Python file that Rigify creates for you may not be enough. You may have to do some copy and pasting like, like you just saw me do. So saving your metric should be fairly easy. And as for saving your own samples, you have to be a little bit more careful and maybe uh, have a little bit of uh, coding knowledge. Okay, I was going to call this video done, but then I remembered that there is a, a special add-on. An add-on specifically for Rigify, which uh, makes this saving of a custom meta rig almost automatic. The script is this one here, rigify save presets. I'm going to put link in the description and then you can scroll down and, and find where it says download the latest release. Click on release and then for Blender 2.8 and 9 and later, you want to download the latest version, which is this one the first file in, in this list, Rigify Save Presets, in this case it's version 008. Click on it and that will download it. Once you have it downloaded, uh, you will go to Edit Preferences and you're going to install it as any other add-on. Here I have the folder where I have saved it. I'm going to search for Save and, and select the zip file itself and just click Install Add-on and then I'm going to Click this checkbox to make sure that the add-on is activated. And now the add-on will be in the rig tab, so I need to create an armature. I'm just going to make one of the metrics, let's say a bird. And I'm going to duplicate its head so that it has two heads. Something like that, that's weird, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to make some changes to the rig type. I'm going to uncheck connect chain. If you watched my tutorials, you know why. And then I'm going to go to the armature tab. When I activated this add-on, this new button was created. If I click it, it will show two additional options. Now these setting presets, I honestly didn't quite understand. So I'm not going to uh, go into them. I'm going to instead click on rig presets. And here under preset name, I can name my new meta rig. So I'm going to call it something like mutant bird. And here you can choose where to save it. If I just leave it to the default option and click add rig preset, the new meta rig will be created and saved, but I need to uh, again restart Blender to see the effect. Uh, but just for tests, let, let's also choose the animals folder and again choose add rig presets. So I'm going to close Blender and open it again. And now if I look in the armature, I'm going to have my mutant bird and under animals, I'm going to have it again. So I'm going to create it and here it is with the two heads. Okay, this little folder icon over here, I think it is supposed to create a new folder. So just as I created my MetaRix folder uh, manually, this button allows you to do this right from the Blender interface. However, right now it is not working and I'm not sure why. I think it did work when I tried it earlier, uh, but now it doesn't. So if you really need a new folder here, you can create it with the manual way that I showed you earlier. 
That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe.